Hello, YouTube is this big baby SLD. I'm back again, and uh, I'm happy to say that I am alive on this May 21st, 2011. I know yesterday at 6 p.m. was supposed to be the end of the world. Maybe I'm in the afterlife. I don't know. All I know, uh, I am here now, and I am showcasing another video of some of my books. Here I am starting off with uh, my all-star Batman and Robin, the boy Wonder. I am I want to collect the whole set, and I want to collect them all with the variant covers. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to understand all-star. I mean, what is it, uh, DC's version of the uh, Ultimates? But I know people had different opinions on it. I, I actually liked it. Here is the variant cover with Robin I actually enjoyed it here is uh... oops don't want to lose that be careful Spidey uh... here is issue two and here's the variant cover I actually like the artwork on these uh on these covers. This this book here has uh one of the most one of my favorite comic book lines ever. Uh, young Dick Grayson is in the Batmobile with Robin. I'm mean, with Batman, excuse me. And he, he says, "Who are you? Who are you?" And Batman goes, "What? What he retarded? I'm the goddamn Batman." I mean, uh, I never seen nothing like it. I read that line, and I just I have to get the whole series. And here is um number three with the uh, variant cover. I think there were only ten issues, so I'm I'm out to collect them all. Next. Now let me say something. I it is Tales to Astonish. A lot of you guys may recognize the cover. It is a reprint of Submariner number one. Now, as if you if you see in my collection, I I don't CGC my books. I like to read them. I may not go after the original Silver Age, Silver Age issues. This is a Bronze Age reprint. And I read my books. I, I just don't believe in CGC in them and, and casing them away. I like to read my books. And I am a fan of the reprints. And I will. I will get a reprint. I, I have no beef with getting a reprint. I actually enjoy them. As I've shown before, I have a whole collection of Marvel Tales with Spider-Man. And here's Tales to Astonish number one, the reprinting of Submariner number one. And this is the exact cover of uh, Submariner number one. Part two. These are all reprints of uh, Submariner's original book. And I love the Submariner. I think he's just one badass character. I think this guy's the ultimate anti hero. Number six. Seven. I believe the original Submariner 8, the cover is black, where he's fighting the thing. 9. And 10.
And here is an actual original Submariner comic book. Uh, issue 60. This is an original. I just happened to come upon it one day. I can't even remember where I got it from. I had a little shop, uh, stop in my comic shop, and some of these are books I have gotten in the mail. His uh, Avengers issue 208. I uh, see the price is chopped up, chopped off up there. It's 208, 50 cent cover price. Batman and the Outsiders. This is when Batman leaves the uh, team. issue uh, 32 this book here is interesting I happen to see everybody else have it for some reason I decided to pick it up I've seen it in my comic book store just sitting around I have no idea who the hell Obnoxio is Obnoxio the clown I picked it up everybody else had it and you know I guess if everybody jumped off a bridge I'd follow uh of Nazi or the Clown, number one versus the X-Men. I have no idea what this comic book is about. I've seen it in a lot of people's collection. I just, I picked it up. Uh, I bought it for a buck. DC. Love my Teen Titans. Issue 21 and issue 20. I am a big Teen Titans fan. Captain America, two fifty nine, one eighty three, annual number six, and Captain America, two forty one. Not every day you see a cover like this. This one I needed another one of. I, I'm about to tell my age here. This comic book came out in 83. I was 12 years old when I bought it. Now this is the original I had before school. Ran to the comic book shop on the corner there. And they had the comic books. I picked this one up. As you can see, I've read it a million times. I don't even know if the camera picks it up. But there's dirt all over the cover here, the yellow. Uh, you can see the wear and the tear and the, uh, where the wear in the uh, cover there. The crinkles in the spine. And, uh, I mean, it's not bad for somebody that's read this book over a hundred times. I mean, uh, I do, I've seen and I do have worse. But... I said, you know, it's, it's time I got another one. Nice yellow cover. This comic book is just clean. It's just sweet. I love it. So, uh, I had to order it. I love this issue. It's Daredevil 196. Daredevil 165. I apologize, I don't know if I've shown this before, but uh, I make so many videos, I can't, I'm not going to sit through them all to see if I showed it before, but this is X-Men 190, 199, I believe this is the first appearance of uh, Phoenix, the second Phoenix, of course, and X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 153. And there goes that poster again. Maybe the end of the earth is coming. Sorry about that, everybody. If it falls one more time, I'm just going to take it down. Uh, let's see. Here we have a uh, Conan 146. 
Once again, I apologize. I don't know if I showed this next comic book before, but uh, I'll show it again. What the hell? Hope y'all enjoy the cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 13. Annual 13, excuse me. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 209. Amazing Spider-Man 169 and Amazing One, uh, excuse me, Amazing Spider-Man 168. Now, as I said before, oh, excuse me, I was also out on Free Comic Book Day. This is one of the free books I picked up in Amazing Spider-Man. Since the cover is completely white, you know, it automatically just went straight into the uh, into the plastic there. Eh, neat cover. I'm really not into modern Spider-Man, so I really don't know what's going on in the issue. I just breeze through it, and you know, it's a free book. We're going to knock it. I got a couple other free ones in there too, nothing major. I couldn't believe the line was so long that day. And uh, let's see here. Uh, let me put these in quick order and then I'll show them to you. A lot of you big time collectors may have these. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Once again, like I said, I am. I have no beef with collecting reprints. And here is Marvel Triple Action featuring the Avengers. Now here's another reprint that the Avengers did in the uh in the in the late 70s, Marvel Super Action. These are all reprints of the Avengers early I know uh, some of you really, really big time collectors, uh, Chromium Comics, you own all the originals of this. But, you know, I have no problem with collecting reprints. Marvel Super Action, number 16. Here is 18. This is the reprint of the first appearance of the Vision. Nineteen, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, and thirty-seven. The Avengers are taking on uh, that's Archon. Archon is, is a kick-ass character. I like him. You really got to get that uh, on. I forgot which annual it was, X-Men. Yeah, he, uh, him and the X-Men fight it out. Great issue. I got two more things. I actually did not get this in a comic book store. If you ever go to Barnes and Nobles, every Barnes and Nobles has a graphic novel section. And that's where I pick up most of my stuff. Most of my uh, graphic novels, and I happen to see this. It's uh, X Men First Class. Most of you probably heard of it. It's just modern age retelling of X Men adventures. It's just mod modern age storytelling, and I picked it up. They're they're smaller than the comic book, thicker but smaller in size and length, and um, I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was a uh, it was a good read. It's it's just modern retelling of Avenger, excuse me, X Men adventures. All right, uh, hi right, YouTubers. This is Big Baby SLD. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad everybody's alive, hopefully. And uh, until next time, it's Big Baby SLD, and I am out.